Yep, my name is Mike Page. And um, the project that I've been working on is this mechanical sequencer project. It's a sort of design project I've set myself um, because I was writing music on my computer um, and then I sort of became slightly disenchanted with like, the process of doing that and I always ended up sort of going down the same avenues with program a beat and program a melody and um, it always sort of turned out fairly similar. So I thought I'd, the sort of task of putting sounds in a sequence seemed like something which could be done um, mechanically, like a, like a music box or something like that. Um, and the thing with other mechanical sequencing things like music boxes is the um, thing which is programmed is the thing which is moving, like in a music box it's the barrel with the pegs in it, turns and plucks the, plucks the little um, time or whatever. Um, so the challenge was to make it so that the bit you program is, the, is stationary, um, so that you can program it live. That's, that's kind of the design challenge. Um, so yeah, it's just all been um, around um, yeah, making that happen. Similar to this, lets light through. Um, the discs have slots in them which uncover these light dependent resistors. Um, and it spins slowly. And there's one that's hand cranked at the side so you can spin it by hand. There's one that's motorised. Um, and they go out via these patch leads to the synthesizer. simple synthesizer. It's um, 12 channels, which is six, uh, two, there's two chips which make uh, the oscillators, two six oscillator chips, 40106 Schmidt hex oscillator chips, Schmidt trigger chips, which are there. Um, and they're tuned by these potentiometers here. Um, and then this area of the circuit board um, is 
sort of like a VCA section, but it's not, but it's not like VCA is voltage controlled um, something. <laughs> uh, but it, yeah, it's just like uh, the light-dependent resistors in this fade up the channels here. So you've got twelve oscillators going at once, and then the uh, the light-dependent resistors block the signal from the twelve oscillators, and so when these are exposed, it lets through. Um, it lets through each of these these channels, uh, and then that section is fed into this sort of effect section down here, which is a delay circuit and a filter circuit. Also. And then these can all be modulated by these um, sliders and these patch points here, which um, you can use more light dependent resistors on patch leads which go to the lights which light up when notes are triggered or um, there's a LFO at the bottom a sort of, so you can you can patch the mechanical LFO or there's a flashing light LFO so you can use one of the oscillators from the synthesizer as a LFO a low frequency oscillator so you can make it stutter modulate and stuff. something which has evolved because it's mostly the pleasure has been the design aspect and the sort of problem solving aspect of working out how to make it happen um, and recently it's got to a point where it makes a good noise and um, it's like pleasurable to actually use previous designs have been uh, not so enjoyable to use so it's got to a point where it's kind of um, uh, yeah it's it's, it's it's, it's sort of performance ready, so I can use it for performances now. So there's pleasure in performing as well, and that it actually makes a sound, which is nice. Um, but yeah, largely the motivation's been the design challenge aspect of it. Uh, it's a process of discovery. Like yeah, the, the main kicks for it, like get out of it, are the like when I make discoveries and realise things and work things out. It's the working things out bit that's the fun bit. Mm -hmm. 